Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So we have jumped systems. There wasn't really anything at the last system that I wanted to finish up. A lot of it was like, you know, two skull, one and a half skull, lower end missions. Um, but we've jumped to Kiwi, or sorry, Kimi here. Um, if you have a look at the navigation, we're kind of on the edge of uh, the Oregon Coalition here. So we're just like kind of right here. Um, we've got some chance to take some missions against uh, Capella and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, um, let's go to, where are we here? Uh, the mech bay. I think all our mechs are ready to go. I don't think we have anything damaged yet. I got everything repaired. They just kind of finished repairing the mortis. We're two days toward before the financial report, but I think there's a couple of missions here that I want to pull off. So um, we've got, let's see what we got here. Um, Well, there's last mech standing. Um, it's Oregon Coalition. Um, Titan attack. Um, defend base. Now there's... Um, it's against the locals. We've already been seeing facility worse. They're detecting an engine signature from assault class mech closing on the base's location. We need you to drop in immediately to protect the base until we can get data transmitted. So I think that's probably one mission that we can do. And then Noisy Neighbors, this is a two and a half skull as well. It's against the pirates, but I've learned that apparently the um, different faction stores aren't open. So even if we kind of ally with pirates or not, it doesn't really matter. We can't get a hold of anything in the store for that, from them. So um, I don't mind doing a few missions against the pirates so we might take this one as well so we've got a couple here that we can do last mech standing we could probably do uh, and liberation that's a possibility it is a destroy base mission it's a heavily armed pirate band but i don't know what we might take this one as well uh we probably won't get a chance though so just because we're going to be uh passing the uh, financial report and the, these missions will change so we'll probably take last or sorry yeah titan attack and noisy neighbors to uh, to start and then we'll see what we get after the financial report so let's go ahead with Titan attack today full full salvage because if we got a chance to get an assault mech we're gonna take it and we're gonna go with the main lance with this one because um, the main lance is really perfect for a defend base mission here uh, black knight and this one and we're gonna go with hopper arachne hotshot and queen bee let's do this All right, here we go. Let's check this out here. Detecting two assault engines. That's the more the better. Make it four. I, I don't care. You gotta be kidding me, Sergeant Bo Davis. Let's rock and roll. You got that right. Turrets have been disabled by sabotage. Well, now there's a surprise. It's gonna make the mission rough. Commander suggestions. Team of engineers that command and restart the turrets, but only be done in person to get turret control. Let's do it. Keep the APCs alive. Okay, so let's have a quick look around here. So looks like this is the edge here, the map. So they're most likely coming all from this side. Uh, is this what base is this? Okay, so these Hephaestus Ripper, are those the engineers? Javelin, or is that just our aid? Catapult to C. Okay, well, we got some half decent defenders here. Um, let's move this way. On my way. And I want you back here a little further. Start by getting up there. And let's get the Black Knight here. Roger that. Let's jump you back here for now. Confirm. Just until we know what's going on. Yeah, so these guys must be the uh, heavy rotary twos. It's nice. Tandem rockets, okay. It's our javelin. Okay, I'm hearing vehicles. 
So I don't know... I'm interested to know... Let's get up here. Moving out. Oh, we got contact, but where? On this side. Orion? Bushwhacker? A Hetzer AC-10? And a Panther. So this must be the Vanguard, because an Orion's a heavy mech, not an assault. All oh, right, I recognize the map now. I, I knew I recognized this map. This was the one that we picked up the other, um, the other uh, bushwhacker off of. Um, let's just, that's not line of sight. That can't be line of sight from here. It's got to be indirect fire. We'll move into here. Um, yeah, the other guys are going to be coming from the right here. Let's just get up as far as we can. And just pull back. On my way. Get our uh, get our instability back to normal here. The Ripper should get out. No. Yeah, move and brace. That's a good idea when we need you here. Okay, if you can kill the Hetzer, that means I don't have to. Okay, Arachne. Um. We can get a direct line of sight from here. We want a line of sight on these guys? Well, that's the question. They're going to shoot back. Um, do we know fully what we're dealing with here? Let's just get over here. We can afford to take a turn of indirect fire. That's not ac actually that bad on him. 38 on the Hetzer. 32 on the Orion. LRM-20 Artemis. LBX-10. This guy's got a bunch of Zeus, ER large, and a... Okay. Um, I want to make sure we take down the Orion, so I know we've got Orion parts. So let's start off on this guy. Now, he is standing in the water, so I'm not... I don't really want to hit him with incendiaries right now, because it's really not going to do anything. He'll just cool off next turn. Yeah, man. Okay, he's rotated sides. We gotta get the archer over here. Ooh, you got nine of them. I've got your back. Okay, I bring everybody under AMS. Aye, aye. Beautiful. Now let's drop some uh, rounds on this guy here. Just gonna go with standard rounds because it's the best way to go. Soften him up a bit. Standing by. Now can you? Can't get a line of sight on anybody, but we can keep moving forward. Yeah, we, need, we definitely need a bigger engine in this thing. If we can get a Clan XL and a bigger engine, that's the way to go. Yeah, you guys kill the Hetzer, man, because I don't feel like shooting at it. Commander? Um, why do we still have... That's one thing they got to fix. Let's get into here. So, here's my beef. You know, everybody can move and brace, move and brace, but at the beginning when she moves, she can't brace if she jumps. So, like I could, whatever. I'm not even gonna bother. It's just frustrating. All right. Um, let's go straight up against this guy. We'll put the barrage on him. Rear armor it is. Nice. I've got eyes on hostile of course you do. They're heading your way. Oh, they're right behind us too. Now, it's probably... I don't know if that's an assault mech or what that is. So yeah, my beef is this. I don't know if you guys are understanding what I'm saying. So at the very beginning, when everybody sprint moves, 
right? You can jump, and if you jump, you don't brace at the end of your turn. Your turn just ends, which means you're still unstable. However, if it is your turn, after the, the sprint moves, everybody moves, like a normal turn, and then you jump, and you don't perform an action, and you brace, you get your stability back. So that's what pees me off, because now I'm down one bar of stability starting this match. Which is kind of annoying. What was that? Thought it said Wolfhound. Vindicator. There's supposed to be two assault mechs here. Hover, two hover tanks. Okay. Um, Talk to me. I'll leave you guys to the Orion. It's all yours. I hate to pull back because we're moving the AMS, but they don't have many. They don't have very many missiles over there. Okay, let's. Um, MRAM's at a range. It's 76. Let's save our Artemis for when we're uh, against a bigger target than this. Let's just hammer this guy. Clustering is going to do good damage. So that's a badger. Badgers? I don't want no stinking badgers. It's all going to be indirect unless I sprint. Do I want to get into a direct line of sight with these guys though? That's the thing. I mean I do want to pull down the... Um no, let's go indirect. I want to pull down the uh, Orion. I just don't want to be um, exposed to the direct fire from down here. We're going to go straight up damage on this guy. Because he's going to be taking a whole nother to turn of fire here. Oh, we can get a side shot on him alone. Let's do that. Location confirmed. So I was informed also too, moving the tags up, that doesn't apply to the weapons this turn, it applies to the turn after apparently. Um, so having them at the top of the of the roster doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm putting them there anyway because, you know, me. Um, Snub nose, 39, that's fine, let's just take the shot. We got lots of ammo. Now nah, there's a miss. Alright, a little damage, not much, but a little bit. Shit. Come on, kill that head, sir. The only reason want why I wanted them to kill him is so that they can target somebody else. Go ahead. Well, he's going to be taken at this turn, so... Uh, that's a side shot, which is pretty good because it's this... this side. I think I'm going to do an offensive push on the Orion. I'm going to go after this torso. See how well we do. Got two hits, okay. Two hits or three? It's plus 30 heat. Let's get into here. Now that I can understand not being able to brace because that's the end of my turn, right? That's the panther moving around. The bad jump. Goss rifle back there somewhere. Now what are our turrets here? Heavy shredder turret, that's good. Oh, longbow. That's an 80 tonner, right? Going after the ripper. Longbow's 80 tons, right? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure the longbow is 80 tons. Okay, we got a sensor lock. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. What was that? Oh! <laughs> See ya! We got a gauze turret somewhere. I wonder if it's that heavy shredder turret. Still shooting at that head, sir. Oh. Okay, looks like he's got a penetration there in his torso. Still shooting that head, sir, huh? Yeah, we penned it, or they penned it, well, the artillery penned the torso. What is that guy? Looks like a, the arm looks like a centurion arm. A victor. Okay. They're 80 tonners, so... That's a lot of small lasers. Commander. Okay, we're gonna leave that side primarily to uh, Hotshot. Actually, Queen Bee will probably move in too, but let's see if we can kill this guy. Um, incendiary, probably? Ninety? Well, maybe. It might take two turns. Or one turn. That works. Beautiful. Now I can't get close to the uh, buildings. And it's also better too for our turrets if they can focus on other guys. Okay. Yes, Commander. You should be able to take these guys on by yourself. On the move. You got the height advantage. You got the weapon. And the tag. Hammer him. Oh, there goes the leg. At least I think it did. Solid connection on that one. Nope. That was it was a solid connection. You must have a lot of egg ar leg armor there. I'm pretty sure that was a leg hit. Yeah. Oh, we took his arm off. I think we're going to get uh, Queen Bee back over there. Hawk Moth. That was the victor, I think. Let's hope he gets eyes on here. Yeah, that's which which one is this? The hawk moth? Yeah. Saving the Artemis rounds for the heavy guys. Yeah, this guy just not that heavily armored for an 80 tonner. Well, I guess it's okay. All right. At least he knows we're here now. We're like halfway through our turns here too. Awaiting orders. Let's not jump into flames. Copy that. I think that was from the Artie strike. Uh, let's burn this guy's back again. Target lock on enemy's rear. Okay. I'll let her focus on this guy. And we'll switch the Black Knight over to the... Um, oh, crap. We'll switch the Black Knight over to the... Um, so many guys over there. We'll switch the Black Knight to the, um... <laughs> My brain is dying! To this guy. 
Yes, finally. Sorry, guys. I've just had a really bad uh, few days back at work after holidays, and it's just been uh, bushwhacker. Sorry. I knew the name. I just couldn't remember it. My brain's kind of mush right now. I actually have to work after I finish recording a couple of episodes here. Everybody on my team is like feeling the COVID blues right now. Well, we're all kind of working, but we've got stuff going on at home and other things, right? Because everybody's affected by COVID in a way. So, you know, when you're normally at work, but now you're home because there's no daycare, you're taking care of your kids. So certain people have got problems and they they can work later at night and once the kids go to bed. So I've just actually got a file sent to me just before I started recording. So I got to get that imported and some animations done at the beginning and the end and send that out for approval for tomorrow morning and blah, blah, blah. So I'll be up late tonight working. Bushwhacker. Not sure who he's shooting at here. Oh, the chopper. Okay. As long as it's not me. Okay, Hopper. I've got your back. We started on the Victor. We don't have parts for either the Longbow or the Victor. I'm really hoping we get a Ryan parts out of this. Roger that. But if we can get some assault mech parts too, that's that's great. Although the longbow would kind of be a nice replacement for uh, for the mech we have now. For the archer. 1680, or sorry, 1160 armor. Yeah, this guy's got less. Oh, he's got a rotary auto cannon 20. We better shoot this guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think so. This is fire. Call stripping armor. Take that as a lesson. What you call stripping armor. Yeah, come on, shoot the same guy. Nope, that's good too. Maybe the longbow will shoot you. Yes, Commander. Okay, Arachne, hardcore. You know the score. Can you? Is that? No, it's still indirect. Let's keep moving this way then. I wonder if we should stick with incendiary and hit the... I don't think this guy's not going to heat up that much, but... Got some good pan... Why, how do we get the back? Well, they must have shot... Someone must have shot him in the back. One of their own guys. I'm losing my voice here. Alright, let's just hammer him with incendiary. We, we might get lucky and burn a hole through that torso. He took something. Is that a knockdown? It's a knockdown. Beautiful. Wait, did he just die? Yeah, he did. He just spun down and died. I don't know what got hit, but... Yes, Commander. He uh, most certainly spun down and died. Alright, let's burn this guy up. Just fire on him. Enemy outflanked. Bringing the pain. You don't have to go very far. Just go back here. It'll give you some more... Some more options for jumping next turn. You're a little closer to them, you can get behind this guy. Beautiful. Well, yes and no. I want parts, man. I can't believe that Victor went down. We may get four parts out of that. They've got a sensor lock on me. Could you imagine getting, well, I mean, the Victor's not the best mech, 80 ton mech, but still, it's 80 tons. Solid replacement for the Centurion, that's for sure. Although, this, the Centurion did kind of work out okay last battle. It's not a bad loadout. The the uh, Ultra 10 and the pair of MRM 10s kind of work well together. They're both the same range. They both got fairly heavy punch. Ow. You need more practice. More practice, dude, he hit you. Ready for orders. He hit you. What practice does he need? Let's get up Roger. here a little closer. Some better range on this guy. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's just hammer him. Um 
Just hit him with acid. I don't think... Does it matter if the acid hits first? I don't know. Roger that. Well, he's dead. <laughs> That's a kill. All that matters is that heavy goss hits. It doesn't matter if those acid rounds are included or not. <laughs> As long as the heavy guys hits, that's all that matters. That thing's a devastating weapon, man. Took down a bushwhacker in one shot. Probably went. I think he was probably running an XL and it went right through the torso. Could be wrong, but that's what my sense is. So the only threat back here really is that is that uh, the longbow. I mean these. Rippers and stuff could probably do damage, but... Ooh, he hit! Goss Rifle's devastating. Okay, so I guess we'll get Hot Shot in that Panther now. There's the Longbow. Oh, he's coming after me. He heard I wanted his mech. You're not taking my mech! Yeah, we'll see. I wonder if we should just both switch to incendiary and just burn this guy to a crisp. It's round seven now, so we got four rounds left. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So Yeah, I mean a couple of rounds of burning the guy. You, you can't get to a point where we can see this guy directly yet, huh? Oh you can. That's what we want. We want line of sight and visual contact. Let's incendiary him. Firing on target. I don't know how much heat he took, but help. it's about to take a little more. Confirmed. Let's try to get a shove on here if we can. Nope. It's all right. That's all right. Let's incendiary this guy too. Roger that. One laser hit. A lot of heat. Hasn't turned red, but it's pretty close. Two turns and Arachne will be in over there. I'm surprised we took that bu bushwhacker down with one shot, though. What is it with these backwards flying choppers, man? I mean, it isn't that hard to do, but still. You're better off... Oh my god, we don't... <laughs> He's heated up too, that's why. I copy. Well, at least you cooled off. We're gonna have to pull some stuff out of that. Alright. Alright, B, let's get up over there. Standing by. Uh, we're going to... Stabilize after we jump. Let's get into here. Roger that. And vigilance. And brace. I mean, we probably could have got rid of most of it with a brace, but want to make sure it's gone in case they do shoot at us. I wonder if... I don't know why that Victor went down. He must have had an XL engine, and I bet you we did enough to the torso when he fell, he damaged the XL engine and, and destroyed the uh, mech. Bet you that's what happened. I can't think of what what else would have done. And if he's carrying a if he's carrying the uh, Rotary Autocannon 20, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is like 16 or 18 tons, it's pretty darn heavy. He would have had to have been carrying at least four tons of ammo or more. So that's probably what happened. Is he had an XL engine? Ow. Lucky bastard. Oh, that's wait. Last time, he said he needed more practice. Now it was lucky with a solid hit. No, let her get hit, man. 
She's still got armor. Yeah, we need to get fire and maneuver on this archer somehow. Just pop tut it, let it walk up. Pummel people, let it walk back away. Look at him, he's drunk. Dude, told you not to drink before we got down here. He's the only guy they can see, so... Nope. Not today. At least that panther's semi-tied up. Alright, a few hits. Not killing them fast enough. I gotta say out of the light max, like 35 tonners, Panther is kind of one of my favorite. It's not, it's not a very fast moving, but it does have a fair bit of armor and carries a PPC, which is, you know, I don't want to say hardcore for a light mech, but it's pretty good, uh, pretty good weaponry. PPC and SRM4. Alright, we've got a longbow to deal with here. Let's stay in the trees. I think we should start applying damage now. Um, yeah, let's go this route. Start stripping some of that valuable armor of his. going next here we go on eight someone here goes on 18 gotta put one on 22 oh it's the ripper okay all right nice Get that damage done over there. Hot shot. How far can you go? <laughs> yeah, that's like real far. Aye, aye. All right, let's um, let's go over. We can't quite get to him, eh? Let's get into where we can get to somebody. Got eyes on everybody here. So we can't shoot at the choppers, unfortunately. I mean, we can, but it's kind of a waste. This guy, that's pretty darn good. That's not so bad. Guy look, he's looking pretty warm. But I think we should go after the uh, Vindicator here. If we can get the barrage on them, the choppers may stay in the barrage area. There we go. You've got my attention. All right. Falling get in behind. the trees, buddy. Get in the trees. Now this guy's still looking a little bit warm, so let's hit him with some more incendiaries. Here we go. Now, I know we are we went Artemis last time with uh, Arachne, but if we can keep him warmed up, what we'll do is we'll jump behind him with the uh, with uh, Queen Bee and just burn him, keep him nice and toasty, and maybe we can pull his legs off. Maybe I don't know. This is round eight, so we got two rounds left. Who's left? We everybody's moved. Yeah. So we got two rounds of firing left. Moon, walk in. Chopper. Shit, he's got a Goss rifle? Somebody better shoot him. I love how they park on over top of mechs like that. Because now if, if our guys use um, missiles, 
there's a chance they'll hit me. I mean, not with like what ten, like nine chevrons. How many we got here? Nine. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, nine chevrons of evasion. So I mean, it is from behind, so that doesn't really count. But they're not aiming at me, so this must be the moss turn. Yeah. Getting as close to me as possible. What's my six? Dude, you got nine chevrons of evasion. Ooh. That must be an AC-20. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're not going to hide there. Vindicator's not having a good day. Got that barrage coming next turn too, which is not gonna help. Ooh. That's all internal damage. Stressing a little bit, is he? Alright, so nice to have our allies going before us. And I can kind of position a thing <laughs> in a in a way that I know they're not probably not going to hit us. The Vindicator is also a, a nice upgrade for the uh, Panther. I think originally it had an AC-10. Ah, even with Artemis, it's hard to hit, eh? Want to heat him or strip him? Let's heat him. Okay. Yeah, come on, kill him. Yes. Waiting for orders. Can you get to that panther? You can. Oh, somebody's in a lot of trouble. What's up? 52%. That's not bad. Giving them everything I've got. Ho, 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 ho. It hit him. See ya. <laughs> Hostile eliminated. One shot, one kill. It's a good thing we've only got 10 rounds for that thing. You just... It's just too OP. If it had more than 10 rounds, I'd just feel really bad. Standing by. Nah, let's get in the trees. Let's get in the trees. I think we're gonna go with this as well. Just in case. I don't know if this longbow has dead fire, but if he does, it could be a very bad day for us. Well, it looks like at least three or four. 48 heat, beautiful. Orders. I don't think you need to move. Let's just incendiary this guy. Okay, one laser hit. Plus 33 more heat. Come on, this, we got one turn now left. We didn't get a chance to shut him down. Hopefully Queen B can go before everybody else. Can shut this guy down. Then we'll try and pull his legs off. If not, well, maybe we can try to get him to bail out. If he doesn't shut down, I don't know. We could just incendiary him. Hopefully he'll shut down. but Or hopefully he'll bail out, I mean. There's no guarantee. Is the yellow jacket outside the range? Yep, it is. Oh, there's the shutdown. And yet, I don't know who that... Oh, he's shooting at the yellow jacket. I don't think that Vindicator is going to survive this round. And he didn't. Wow, that AC-20 just wrecked him. Two shots, two turns. And that added insult to injury. So if the pilot got out, he's definitely dead now. Uh, 
Okay, so he is shut down. So if we target him. Yes, Commander. Just a straight up attack. Right? Oh, it's not off in the back. Ah! We gotta move. Which means this asshole is gonna get a shot at us. I gotta say, the AI, once again, I'm two thumbs up to whoever's working on the AI. Good work, guys. Good work. Alright, let's just jump it. I'm gonna go on this side. Okay. Engaging dump jet. And we'll go after the leg. Firing. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! So it's just the yellow jacket left. As far as I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't think we were going to kill everybody. We don't have eyes on. Can we... Um, even sprinting forward, I don't know if this will give us eyes on, but we're going to move up. Aye, aye. Lose our height advantage, but if we can get eyes on, we'll have a much better chance to hit. No, we don't. Ah, well. Still 76, though. Affirmative. One laser hit. There you go. Is that it? There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, let's see what our contract was. 30, 40, 90%, 115% increase in contract payment. That's beautiful. Uh, we finished off the beta pod uh, between episodes uh, on the Argo, and now we've got the zero G pool running for plus three morale, plus one tech. So that stuff that actually covers the cost of it more than sufficiently. That was only four hundred and fifty thousand. So that's beautiful. Um, we got one ejection, three kills. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good here. So what do we got here? We got three bushwhacker parts. We've already got a bushwhacker sitting there. All right. Now we can't get a longbow, but there are four victor parts. One ballistic, two laser, one missile. The Ryan's got what? Two ballistic, two laser, and two missile. For the difference of five tons, this has got a better ability for loadout. But this has got the uh, rack 20. Let's go with that. Um, I know if I look down here, I'm going to see stuff that I want. There's the rack 20 pirate. Now the question is, see this has been a very unreliable weapon for us in the past. I mean, it's not that bad, but you got to be real close to use it. And we're on a bigger open map, although there's a 320 core. Um, yeah, let's just see what we get off the Victor. I'm going to take the 320 core. Yeah, see he was using caseless ammo. 10 shots, so he had 30 shots. He may have had more. Uh, yeah, I think what happened was when he fell, uh, the XL engine broke. I bet you any money that's what it was. We'll find out soon enough because we're going to take this. Uh, and I will take the big core because we need bigger cores. I think the 320 is probably good for either the um, the Mortis, which most likely I'll put it in, um, or the Black Knight, either one. So let's confirm this. Okay, we got a bushwhacker part. We got three longbow parts, an Orion part. Beautiful. Two ER medium laser pirates. So that's good for well, can't put it on our melee max. We've only got one laser slot, but still. All right, we can sell this guy. Thirty-four thousand. We can sell all the jump jets. 
Standard heat sink cooling, we can get rid of all those. AC, regular AC10 can go. AC10AP can go. Fluid Inferno. I don't think we're ever going to use fluids. Uh, double heat sinks we do need to keep, like Goss will definitely keep. Ammo LRM mine clearance. I think this is going to get be really good for later on. So we'll keep that. And just continue. Alright. <laughs> it's like nothing for repairs. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Uh, Alright, we can't... I mean, it's two days to the financial report. Normally I would hold off, but we got to see bills. I want to bring that Victor forward just to see what it's got on it. I was just kind of thinking what kind of loadout we could load into it. And you know, it would almost be worth... Um, do we have enough Orion parts? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, we've got the Orion C. Yeah, I, we, I don't know if these are compatible. This is the old one, right? Oh, it is. Uh, we could have got a full Orion. Oh, well, no big deal. Uh, I was thinking that if we put the heavy goss on this guy, we might be able to fit the MRM-30 in the, in the torso. Let's have a look at this guy. Let's have a look at it here. Uh, let's hope we get something half decent out of this. Let's move it over. Let's do a refit. Doesn't look like we got much there. The end is still still there. Okay, the Rack 20 survived. The caseless ammo survived. The case 2 survived. Endo steel double heatsink kit survived. The 320 core survived. Oh my god, we actually got a half decent uh, survival rate out of this. Um, let's just go ahead and see how much it's going to cost to repair. Accurate weapon AC. Plus one accuracy with auto cannons, minus one recoil with auto cannons. That's actually pretty good. Rack 20 weighs how much? 20 tons. Yeah. See, the snub nose, I think, weighs 18. If we put that, put that in here, how much weight do we have left over? Almost 10 tons. Because what I'd really like to do, like if we can find a gyro to lower our weight, do we have any, just for an example here, uh, I'm going to put heavy ferro on for now, just, well, I don't know, I don't think we can use the heavy ferro. Just put regular ferro on for now. We'll run out of slots if we do it that way. Or we could do it this way. Let's do that first. I just want to test this to see what we can do here. Um, ultralight gyro, just for the sake of argument. Uh, just for weight. Uh, we don't have anything else we need in there. Got case two. So uh, if we go to weapons and launchers, SRMs, MRM 30, that's like 10 tons, right? It is feasible. How much? This is heat 36. This is heat, what, 20? 27. So this was the Gauss rifle. That's a possibility. Like, we, to make this work, we've got minus one recoil here, minus one here, right? Then we could put the minus two in for the torso. I know our pilots at least have minus one, so it's minus five. This is a six recoil. It might work. We need, I don't think we've got enough ammo. That's the only thing. I don't think we've got a lot of MRM ammo, do we? We've got improved. One of these is damaged. We can put two of them. This is like 20, 200 rounds, right? So we could put that. It's 400 rounds. That's 13 turns of firing. This is a total of 30 rounds. Let's just do this so it's all in the same torso. Um, I mean, we could go with the Rack 20 and the MRM 30. Let me think about it. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it. You guys, let me know what you think. Um, so for the case of weapons, we've got the LB LB10X. Although I don't think we have any ammo for the LBX. Um, oh, we do. We got cluster rounds for the LB10X. LBX10. 
We've got regular Gauss rifles. Um, and we have Gauss ammo. But I know it's not a... I know that's not a... Um, where is it here? Yeah, we've got regular Gauss, Gauss rifles. I know it's not a... Um, an auto cannon. So we lose the plus one to hit with this thing. Um, this isn't an auto cannon either. But this is, you know, still thumper is a possibility for an artillery mech. But we've already got two artillery mechs, right? So it would have to be something. we got a rotary 5 pirate. we got a regular rotary 5, which really doesn't give us enough punch in this mech. I mean, an LBX-10 is 11 tons. Like, if we went this route, we could up the armor, which I think it kind of needs a little bit in the torsos. And the arms would, could use it too, right? Because we could go with LBX-10... So let's say we did that. It's got two recoil. It's already mitigated. So we could put a different fire control system in. Right? And then we could go ammo. These are like how many rounds each? Ten rounds each? Yeah, ten shots each. So two tons is plenty. I wish we had a half ton, but we don't. So we can pull that out. So now we're still dealing with an extra 12 tons. Max out the armor. Let's just do this real quick. Just toying things around here. And then if we go weapons, um, we could drop a laser AMS in, which is probably a good idea. Um, or we could put an advanced AMS in. We've got the weight for it. But then we can go uh, laser weapons. We've got, I, I don't want the medium pulses. We've got a medium X pulse. ER large, like we want some, this guy's got to have a half decent range because he's not going to be moving tremendously fast. So that's 720 meters with the LBX. This is what, 500 and something? 480, not very, not very, uh, not very long range. Large VSPL. I mean, that's the other thing too, is we could go large, well, it's a lot of heat. We just don't have the ability to mitigate that kind of heat. You know? We don't have the ability to mitigate the heat here. I mean, maybe it's not an MRM-30. Maybe it's some kind of LRM, like a LRM-20 or a Thunderbolt 10. 55 damage for 6 tons. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I don't want to go with another LRM. We've got a lot of LRMs going on. The MRM is giving us a lot of punch. Um... We do have an improved ATM-6, although in the ammo situation, uh, we've got HE and improved uh, EMP. So we don't really have a lot of ammo. Like, this is 10 turns of firing. This is 10 turns of firing. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't think we have the perfect weapons for this, but I think we're pretty close. The Rack-20 would be kind of fun to see in action again, but... Once again, like that weapon is like, if you go down here, so the Rack 20 has got a range of what? 400 meters, so it's not too bad. Five shots, have a select fire of one to six shots. So they're just, so it's five times one to six rounds, each doing three each, three damage each, or damage four. Yeah. So the misfire multiplier, it would be recall times, it would be 5% on the first turn, 10 on the second turn. But I think it's with each time you fire it off, there's a percentage chance to jam. So if it's got six shots, it's like six times 5% or six 5% chances. And then the next round would be six 10% chances. Of it jamming so you wouldn't want to go full because we don't have five rounds we only have got we've only got 30 shots we don't have five turns of firing so keeping it on three is it really gonna be like we had the chance to do 60 damage every turn and at that point you're like it's like using an LBX 10 almost right because it's like 60 projectiles I don't know. 
I'd almost want to use the LBX10. The fact that we could, the number of turns, plus one accuracy, plus 50% crit, plus one evasion pips ignored. We don't have to worry about recoil on it because it would be taken care of already. Um, fire control systems. We don't have a lot. We, I mean, we have to drop an ECM or something in there too. We have the ballistic, which gives us 25% ballistic crit. It'd be plus one accuracy with ballistic weapons. So we'd have plus one, plus two, plus three accuracy with this thing. And then this is just an upper recoil, right? Plus one accuracy with, so plus four accuracy. Um, and if we go with this instead, we could take multi-track and target more than one opponent. Although we don't have a lot of other, I don't think we have any other, yeah, we don't have any other fire control systems. So if we're going to do that, then I would leave it, I would put the, yeah, I don't know. Ugh, tough choice. Yeah, you'd have to go with the fire control system advanced for the plus one accuracy for um, offensive push. And then use multi-track because you get an extra, you fire at three targets and then a bonus of 4% for called shot location modifier, which is nice. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm not going to do anything right now. Um, so next episode will be our second Lance uh, taking on the next mission here. Um, and then uh, hopefully you guys can let me know in the comments. I'll, I'm only going to record two episodes tonight. It's Wednesday night. So Thursday night will be this episode. Friday night will be the next episode. Hopefully you guys can let me know what you think. And I can make some changes before Saturday. Um, yeah, I can I can record on Friday night. Make some changes before Saturday. Uh, and then have that Victor up and running. All right. So I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop some comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.